Yo, we're living in some crazy times right now. This pandemic, how long will it last? Nobody really knows. In terms of the music industry, live performances, ticket sales are gonna be taking a big hit for the foreseeable future. But this doesn't mean you can't generate income from your music and keep making progress towards building your music business. Now I'm gonna share with you six ways you could generate income from your music during and after this pandemic. What's up everybody, I'm Jay Jonas with Beethoven, wishing all you musical artists out there good health and prosperity. Now, if you want to get this ball rolling, before you could really start making money from your music, you're going to want to have to have built or are building a fan base of some kind. Now, I'm not talking about how many followers you have on IG or how many likes your Facebook page has. Those are all good. But right now, I'm talking about your email list. Now, your email list is simply a list of your fans' emails, but don't get it twisted. This is gonna be the strongest tool you have when it comes to promoting your music or spreading your message online. Now, your email list is valuable because it allows you to communicate directly with your fans unlike social media where you have to compete for their attention. You'll want to inform your email list of your new music releases, your special offers and deals, which we'll get to next, and whatever other news that you'd like to share with your community. Now, when it comes to email marketing, you're going to want to pick a good email marketing platform. And if you're just starting out, I suggest you check out MailChimp. Now, MailChimp is user friendly, so it's not that hard to get started. And they also have a free package. So I think it's perfect for beginners. OK, so how do you go about building your list? Well, besides reaching out to your current fans and people that support your music, you're going to want to have to come up with an offer that your prospective fan is going to find value in exchange for their email. Which brings me to number two on my list, coming up with the right offers. Now, whether you're trying to build your email list or sell something online, you're going to have to come up with some kind of offer that your prospective fan is going to find valuable. So for example, if you want to offer something of value in exchange for an email address, you might offer your latest single MP3 download. Now, once you get their email is your job to get them to purchase from you so you got to come up with offers that they'll find valuable enough to open up that wallet and buy now you can offer them a discount price on your latest EP or album or to send them a physical copy of your EP or album merchandise sign merchandise meet and greets tickets to your live stream performances since the pandemic's going on and concerts are kind of out of the picture whatever you offer them is up to you but you want to get creative here it's got to be valuable in their eyes to get them to purchase from you. All right, so now you have some offers in mind, but how do you go about selling these offers? Well, you do so by building an online sales funnel. Now, a sales funnel is a key digital marketing concept, but simply put, it's a multi-step process to take your prospective fan into becoming a purchasing fan. Now, when you think of a sales funnel, I want you to picture a website, except for every page is designed for the visitor to take one action. So in the example I told you before of offering an MP3 download in exchange for an email, that could be that action. Or for a discounted price on your latest EP, that could be another action. Now, when you're doing your email marketing, it's your job to include a link to your sales funnel and to entice readers to click that link and to enter into your funnel. Now, these days, it's easier to build websites and sales funnels. So if you're new and you don't have any coding experience, I suggest you check out ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is a sales funnel builder. It's user friendly and they have a big community of users who swear by the platform. They also have a lot of good training content. The only thing that I could find that's kind of a negative or is a negative, depending on your budget, is how pricey ClickFunnels is which the starting out package is $97 a month. So depending on your budget, that could be affordable or not. All right, so let's say you're a more established artist. You already have a solid email list and a grasp on sales funnels. What other ways can you generate income from your music? Well, right now I'm seeing a trend of artists doing live stream performances for tips. But to do this, you'll want to pick a platform like IG Live, YouTube Live, or Facebook Live. Now, what's important is that you give your fans some notice about your live stream performance and that you have a link that they can click to where they could donate, whether that's PayPal or Cash App. The next on my list is Patreon. Patreon is crowdfunding for creators. It's a monthly membership platform where your biggest fans can show support by pledging a certain amount monthly in exchange for incentives and 
rewards. Now, these are some of your greatest fans. They really do support your creative process. So you wanna give them something of value. You wanna give them something that they will appreciate. So this could be unreleased music or access to pre-release music or maybe behind the scene footage meet and greets, or maybe insight into your creative process. These are all good ideas when coming up with some incentives or rewards that you can give your fans on Patreon. The so last on my list is Spotify Artist Fundraising Pick. Now Spotify has recently allowed artists on the platform to fundraise for themselves or for a certain cause. You can now include a Cash App link to your profile so visitors that visit your profile that support your music can donate to you or to your favorite cause. Now, I haven't heard too much positive about Spotify's fundraising pick. I've heard kind of that people are not really noticing it and not getting a lot of donations. But as this pandemic goes on, I do feel like more people will be warming up to this. So I think it is a good option and it doesn't hurt to try to use it. All right, people, if you found any value in this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. My name is Jay Jonas. This is my first video that I've uploaded. I look forward to uploading more, giving you guys the latest on music marketing tips, guides, and strategies. To all you musical artists out there, stay healthy, stay positive, stay prospering. Peace and love always. See you next time.